A leopard's life here unfolds against a beautiful and unforgiving landscape. filmmaker follows a male leopard coming of age in a pitiless and violent world. He will be tried, he will be tested, and he will struggle day by day, hour by hour, to live up to his name, Jololo, one who stands alone. the South African sunset fades, Kim Wallader navigates Mala Mala game reserves, thickets, and ravines. For Kim, it's another night on the job. He's here to chronicle a male leopard's fight for survival, a constant battle waged on many fronts against many enemies. What draws me to these animals is their absolute power, grace and their real beauty. And the, the fact that they inhabit a world that's very, very difficult to penetrate. But if you can work your way into it as an observer, you have a chance to see amazing things. Darkness is the canvas on which the leopard illustrates his prowess. To watch a leopard stalk is to understand truly what that word is meant to convey. <laughs> to its prey, a leopard is everywhere and nowhere, silent and smooth as running water. But just as the leopard stalks his prey, he's dogged by a less grand, though no less efficient predator. One that rarely leaves his side, an unwanted partner the hyena follows in the leopard's wake always looking to steal what the leopard worked so hard to gain I 
Tina and Leopard. Theirs is a rivalry as old as the bush itself. And the rules of engagement have remained the same for millennia. <laughs> Sooner or later, the leopard must come to terms with the hyena. And the hyena must come to terms with the leopard. Out here, you know your enemy, or you die. Mala Mala Game Reserve lies in northeastern South Africa, 35,000 acres perfectly suited to leopards. Etched by gullies and ravines, the landscape is blanketed in thick bush, punctuated by patches of open grassland. This rich array of cover, forage, and water supports a huge variety of animals. The bush is one big neighborhood. Each inhabitant knows everyone else, the same as we know our own neighbors. And they recognize one another individually, no matter where they meet. Walter understands these animals and this landscape well. Like his father and grandfather before him, he was once a park ranger until he took up the camera. Wallader has made several award-winning films, including one on a female leopard in Mala Mala. I'll never forget the time I spent in the wild with beauty. A connection of some kind developed between me and the cat that seemed to let me into her world in a way I'd really never expected. And again and again I was able to see amazing things like the hunting skills she had taught her cubs. Five years later, Wallader is back, this time to complete his Big Cat Chronicle by devoting even more time to the intimate details of a male leopard's life. For this story to work, I had to find the right cat, one with gumption to see the job through. And if he succeeded, it meant the film would succeed. And sure enough, after I'd been in the bush a while, I noticed the new cat trying to make his way. He calls his chosen subject, Chololo. At four years old, he is 150 pounds of strength and agility. He is small for a male of his species, but he's a scrapper, as he'll have to be if he's to survive. Chololo's first task is to claim a territory for himself. His timing is excellent. The old male leopard who controlled this 14,000 acre region has died. This territory is up for grabs and right away Chololo starts scent marking it as his own. Tonight's foray may take him across 10 miles of terrain. In the dead of night, Chololo announces his presence, a brazen challenge to other males with designs on this turf. Soon enough, he detects the presence of another leopard. It's an older, larger male, and Chololo must confront him. There have been reports of leopards fighting to the death over territory. Whatever the outcome, it always begins as a war of nerves.
Tonono closes the distance, and the intruder rises, but not to do battle. Instead, he retreats into the bush. Chololo has taken the measure of his opponent and found